I believe I've gotten all the ingredients we'll be needing together. Have you already washed and cleaned all the produce, dear? Excellent. Would you mind doing the same with any surfaces we shall be using? I cleaned the kitchen earlier, but I believe it pays to be thorough. I wouldn't want you to get sick after you've recovered so well. So, would you mind too terribly? Thank you, dear. Now I should busy myself with finding my notes. I could have sworn I left them around here somewhere. Ah, here we are, right by the pants. Oh, I do hope this comes together nicely. I've, I've been experimenting every chance I'm afforded to get this right. And you are such a dear for helping me with this. I was hoping to surprise you. However, I understand the practicality of you guiding in the process of making food from your country. Adapted to the produce we grow in Ebenmire, of course. With such expert guidance, I am certain that this culinary venture will be a resounding success. Now, let's just put the stove on and let it get nice and warm while we go ahead and get started. Based on my notes, it would seem that Making a flour out of grey grain and seared skullgrot root makes a simple batter that it can be refined a bit with the addition of crushed berries from a queen's crown plant. Luckily I have already prepared some grey grain in advance. It is notoriously hard to grow, but I've been at it for some time now. Well, of course, I've been taking notes. Food preparation is a rather difficult task for vampires, as they don't have the same palate that humans do. So, I need to rely on accurate measurements rather than a sense of taste or smell when preparing a dish. Let's continue on, shall we? It says here to combine the ingredients in these quantities. See them? Add this much purified water and stir until the mix is uniform. Seems simple enough. Did you measure everything out, dear? Very good. Precisely how much we need it. You have quite the good idea. I shall go ahead and take those. I'll do the mixing so you can rest your arm a bit. Oh, while we're on the subject, how is it feeling? Ah, that's good. I was a bit concerned you might have strained yourself last night. W what do I mean? Ah, well, it's simply... You were a bit physical. And I just wanted to make sure that you were alright after that. You, you know, you pushed me down and held me while I fed on you. I know the process of slaking a vampire's thirst is taxing to say the least, so I was worried is all. But 
out if you're well enough to tease me. And I suppose you must be doing quite well, actually. Ah, would you look at that. It appears the mix is ready. Excellent. Could you please retrieve a pan from over there, dear? I need to go get a bottle of lesher oil for this next part. I believe I placed it over here. I must say, however, cooking every day has certainly improved my skill in the kitchen. And though I will admit that I knew very little to begin with. So it's only natural for me to improve, I suppose. <laughs> you know, I never would have practiced this skill if I didn't have someone to cook for every day. You already know by now that a vampire only needs to consume blood to sustain themselves. So, cooking is somewhat antiquated to us, but I still find myself having quite a bit of fun cooking for you, and owning a new skill. W what What did you say? I would make a fine husband. I, I, I suppose I would, but if the... <sighs> Black below. You're certainly having quite a bit of fun at my expense tonight, are you not? Mask yourself behind innocent eyes all you wish. I see your intent, you silly boy. Despite your teasing, I'm having fun spending time together. And that's no small thing to me. Fun isn't something I typically encounter here within the Chantry. So while we might have met under less than ideal circumstances, I'm very happy we did. And in honor of that, I shall put forth my absolute best to craft these... What were they called again? Pancakes. That's a bit on the nose, is it not? Ah, regardless. These pancakes will certainly be delicious. Let's get on with it then. One pancake... Pancakes? Underway. And they are looking good, aren't they? Very fluffy. Like how you described earlier. Ah, this side looks done. If I recall, you just flip it to the other side. Like this, yes? Oh my, look at that. It's like a little cake. Ah, now the name makes sense. This is an odd little dish, however. Not quite a pastry, but closer to it than not. Is it for special occasions? Birthdays and the like. For breakfast? Oh, that's hardly enough, isn't it? No, 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 that won't do. Let me make you some eggs and a little meat as well. Oh, don't fuss, dear. You can still help. Indeed. You have the very important task of pancake production. I'll just be handling the sides right here next to you. So let's both do our best, okay? I really enjoy this. Spending time together, I mean. The time you've spent here has been wonderful. Not that you're 
injuries were wonderful. Oh dear, what I mean to say is that, well, I've been here in the Chantry for 55 years now, alone, with only the odd lesser undead wandering by to remind me that anything else exists out there at all. And I was lonely until I found you collapsed and bloody at the foot of that cliff all that time ago. It made me happy to have someone to talk with and to care for. Feeling those empty nights I have grown so used to. It, it might be an odd thing to say, but I'm thankful that we've gotten to know each other better and have similarly become closer over our time together. Oh goodness, there I go rambling again. Ah, oh, by the void. Thank you for being so patient with me to- Ah! Ow! Oh, I've cut myself. How oh, very clumsy of me. Oh, it's- it's alright, dear. It's only a little cut on the finger. I can handle this much at least. You want to see it? Oh, really, it, it isn't all that bad. I know it's bleeding, but honestly it... Oh, oh, all right. If you're going to insist like that. See, nothing to worry about. Just a little blood is all. I should get a towel to clean up, though. Oh, you'll clean it up. Dear, yeah, that's very kind of you, but I can take care of it, really. What's what's that look for? Hold on, what? Uh, 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 you're licking me. Uh, oh, by the talk. You... Uh, uh, you... 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 Well, why... Why did you do that? Of course I'm embarrassed. You put my finger in your mouth and... With your tongue and... Who wouldn't be flustered by that? Honestly. No, no, no. I'm not angry with you, dear. N not at all. It was... It was very sweet of you to... do that for me, and it... well... felt nice. I didn't make any noises, did I? Uh, void below. Take me now. I'm sorry. I... I haven't experienced anything like that. It was a spiral of feelings and it was just new to me. The stimulation caught me off guard, I suppose. I've never had anybody close to me in that way. Friends and acquaintances, yes, but something more than that? I'm 467 years old, and I'm afraid I'm very far behind in that regard. I haven't had a partner, much less a... Uh, never mind. Let's get back to cooking, shall we? No, 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 no. Never you mind what I was saying. It was nothing. Surely. What? Of course I've kissed someone before. I kissed you on the cheek for helping me in the garden as well as when I was 
preparing to feed on you. I'm, I'm not completely inept in the romance department, dear. How does that not count? We even held hands. You made a proper kiss on the lips. Well, I mean, if you're going to lean into that technicality, then I suppose I've never had one before. Why do you look so surprised? Is it such an odd thing for me to be inexperienced in that regard? When one chooses the devout path of a priest, and struggles to attain their second name as early as possible, there is very little room in their life for anything other than, other than the church. And that occasionally means sacrificing personal things to further the will of the church. And in my case, that means forsaking the more intimate parts of companionship, like having your finger licked and kissing. Of course I want to, eventually. I've read stories about how it feels, but I, that's not quite the same as experiencing it, now is it? Um, you're quite close, dear. It's, it's a bit dangerous near the stove, so... Oh. Oh. Uh, um, that's much closer. Um, um, <clears throat> hello. Hi. Um, why? I could find out what it's like. Now, uh, you're certainly in a teasing mood today, dear, making a fool out of- mm. God, felt, felt so good. My heart doesn't beat, yet it feels as if it's pounding out of my chest. It's, it's hard. There's another feeling, like hunger. I. I think I want more. We'll have to wait a bit for the pan to eat up, so can we, please, can we keep kissing?
taste so good. Heavy and sweet. Uh, I want to keep going, but we should at least have some breakfast first, shouldn't we? Yes, could you get started on making the cakes? I'll be here. Queen's crown berries turned in. <laughs> A quick one while you weren't looking. I can tease as well, you know. Right, let's get. Oh, I haven't prepared any berries. Oh, no matter. I can quickly go gather some from the garden. And they're just past the door, really. You'll be okay here for a moment, dear. I'll be just outside, so... So call if you need me. I'll be right back. Still tending to your plants, are you? <gasps> Void below! Oh, have I startled you? <laughs> Always in your own little world, and just as excitable as ever. Leontros. Hello, Adavon. It's been some time. Fifty-five years, I believe. So much to catch up on. How have you been? I... I, I didn't know that you were to be coming by. I haven't received a letter or a message. Is it unusual for me to come visit an old friend? I travelled all the way from Dion to get here and see you. I have many tales from my journey, but my feet are killing me. Be a doll and invite me in to rest a spell, would you? No. I... I mean... And this is the kitchen. We can find a better spot in the sitting rooms. I will brew some tea and meet you there. Then we can exchange pleasantries. Some tea does sound divine at the moment. The road is dark and welcoming. But it does carry a bit of a chill. Even the grave seems warm in comparison. <laughs> yes, if you will give me a bit of time. Of course, dear Ottavon. I'll be patient and wait right here. You can show me the garden while we all walk. Just you, me, and that human. You're trying to hide away in that room. I... I don't... I... I mean... I'm... Shh. I saw him well before I arrived. You forget, my old friend. My eyes... are numerous. I beg of you, don't harm him, Leandros. Whatever business you have... Level it upon me, but please, don't hurt him. I gave my word he would be safe here. Heart of on. Calm yourself. It's all right. I will not make a liar of you. I've come to this... humble abode, not as an adversary. You have my promise of that. So, invite me in, and let's enjoy a fine breakfast together. V very well. So long as you 
do no harm to him, and you are welcome to join us. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to meeting this new development of yours, shall we?